everybody! So I'm going to be doing something that I have never done before, and that is taking you on a little tour of my beauty room slash filming room and briefly going through my makeup collection. I've had so, so many requests for a video like this over the years, and I've always been too scared to do it because I don't have a perfect setup. I don't have a perfect room. This is also my laundry room because I'm just a real person who happens to love makeup and I do YouTube as a hobby. So first disclaimer right there, uh, this is not perfect, this is not immaculate, this is not the same setup as you might have seen in every other makeup collection, beauty room, filming room video. Uh, so I just want to say that. So I probably would change a bunch of things if I had a different room, if I would love to have a bigger room, a room that's not also my laundry room, so that I could really organize things the way that I want to. And my makeup storage is not ideal, but it functions. And for those of you who may not know, if you happen to have stumbled across this video from somewhere else besides your subscription feed, um, I am a project panner, generally speaking. Um, I do other videos besides project pans, but my makeup collection is largely set up so that I can utilize it better for panning and so that everything is functional for me when I film and when I get ready in the morning because I have a regular everyday job. Like I just, I have to do things that make sense for me and with the limitations I have. I'm also not showing off my makeup. Um, some people seem to think that's what makeup collection videos and stuff are. I'm doing this because so many people have asked and I'm actually really crazy nervous. So if you're looking for supreme organization, if you're looking for immaculate makeup, if you're looking for perfect storage, I would suggest maybe going elsewhere because you're you're not going to find it here. So this is probably going to be a very long video. I hate to disappoint anybody, but this is just my very realistic makeup, beauty, filming, etc. So we are at the very entrance of my room. And as you can see, this is the section over here where I film. I have my lights turned on because my room has no natural lighting. It's very, very dark. I have one light on the ceiling. So when I don't have my studio lights on, it is incredibly, incredibly dark. If you come further into my room this way, I'll start kind of going around on the left and then I'll go to the right with the vanity, and then I'll save my makeup bit for last. But when you come over this way, the first thing we have here on the left is my bathroom, so not very exciting, just your standard bathroom stuff. It's not perfect, I need to do some painting, some touch-ups and stuff need to be done. I have a gray and white and kind of teal scheme going on, and then the rest of my room is kind of the same, but I've been adding more black into the rest of my room. Over here, um, my partner actually made this little closet thing for me. He made the closet, he made the doors covering the laundry area as well as the vanity. Um, so it's just sort of the rustic wood thing. I was going for more of a beachy California vintagey thing when I was first setting my room up here and I've really gone in a different direction since. But anyway, I have this wicker thing that's bolted to the closet here, which just has a variety of mostly hair care stuff, honestly. Um, up at the top here, I have some hairspray, um, some dry shampoo, like some backup stuff. I have a heat protectant spray and the Not Your Mother's uh, Beach Babe texturizing sea salt spray, which I really like. Just some of the hair care stuff that I reach for. I actually have decluttered quite a bit of this stuff and I've used quite a bit of this over the last year, so I don't have a whole lot of stuff hanging around. I also have stuff in um, my other bathroom upstairs as well, but this is just more hair care stuff, like the big sexy hair blow dry volumizing gel. A wide variety of stuff. I'm trying to keep my camera in focus, so I apologize. I'm gonna try and keep my eye on it the best as I possibly can. But I just have stuff like this Alterna Caviar Smoothing Hydra Jelly, various hair stuff. And you'll probably see a lot of shadows and stuff in here just because the lighting isn't great. Um, but that's it. It's a realistic beauty room. So in this container down here, I just have stuff like deodorant. Um, I have a peel off mask, another face thing. This is just sort of like a miscellaneous drawer that I can drop stuff in. So this is just a closet. Thing. I'm not going to try and open it right now. I just have some clothes hanging up in there. Most of the stuff that's hanging up in there right now is just stuff that I would wear for filming, like any shirts or tops or some stuff that I would want to wear when I'm filming is in there right now. I moved out a lot of the other stuff. 
Um, up there I just have a little photo to inspire me. Today is full of possibilities. I love cheesy inspirational stuff. Just, I love it. Um, over here on this side, you can see I have a photo of Marilyn Monroe from The Seven Year Itch. I've had this photo forever. It was in my bedroom when I was growing up. Down here on this little bench, this bench is actually full of records. A large portion of my record collection is in this cabinet. It's full from one end to the other. Um, and then I have some candles. Most of these are new candles, which I just recently got. The standard Three Wick Bath and Body Works candles, which I absolutely love. Um, the little teal candle is one that I got for my mother for Christmas and a hidden gems candle, which I also got for my mother for Christmas. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of it, apparently you can melt the stuff away and there's like a ring in it that can be worth up to like $5,000. It's, it's so gimmicky, but I'm really excited to see what's in there just because I love wearing rings. So it's extra bonus jewelry for me. I don't care what it's worth. I have these extra little storage containers here. There's just some hair elastics and stuff hanging around on there. I don't have everything in a perfect order, but in these containers, I have some other miscellaneous things, nothing too exciting or worth sharing, just extra um, pens and notebooks and stuff like that. You'll notice there's a lot of paper and a lot of notebooks and stuff like that in my room. So making our way over towards the vanity, I just stopped here because this is the view you guys normally see when I'm filming. That's my background there. I have it usually framed, so just, like the records are there and you see the stuff that's on top. But if you were to see step further back, you would see that I have also some records on top. But I just find if I have it like this, where you can also see the records on top, there's just too much in the frame. So I just keep it like that. It's kind of simple and that way there's not too much distracting. I like having my records on there. It's just a really big reflection of who I am. So to continue on our journey, obviously I have all this light stuff over here. I have a lot of lights. I have a ring light. I have two umbrella lights and three soft boxes, although one of the soft box things broke, so it is without a soft box right now, but it still is semi-functional. Um, over in this corner with these storage things, nothing is in any particular order over there, and again, it's a lot of notebooks. It's some jewelry. It's a lot of just extra miscellaneous stuff. My wigs are all hanging out over there because I don't have anywhere else to store them, um, so that's just my miscellaneous <laughs> corner. It's Organized enough for me to know what it's there. There's also a lot of empty boxes There's also a lot of empty boxes in my room because I use those for my various projects down here in this corner I have my box from hashtag 365 days of samples. I have my boxes that I was just using for my Christmas projects I have a notebook right here, which is actually full of notes and stuff for filming um, Yep, this is all like video ideas. I have things that I want to do makeup looks I've thought of yeah, there's a lot going on there. Um, I have some more boxes and things for filming projects coming up soon. I just like this box. It's not really practical for putting makeup in because you can't see it, but again, I like the cheesy inspirational stuff. Then back over this way, so that's the front door over there. This is, it's kind of warped even though it's closed, but this is the laundry area. So my washer and dryer and laundry soap and all that stuff is all behind those doors. So at least it's, it looks like it doesn't even exist. You wouldn't know this is a laundry room unless you had all those doors open and all that stuff out. So I like it that way. So here is my vanity. This is where I do my makeup. You guys probably haven't seen this unless you follow me on Snapchat, maybe Instagram because I've shared some of the stuff now and then. So this is the vanity that was made for me. I bought the mirror at, I think it was HomeSense. A lot of my stuff comes from HomeSense. So a lot of the stuff on my vanity is my everyday stuff. I'll go through all that stuff in a second. I just want to start with what's down here first um, because this is again, a lot of empty boxes. I have a garbage can uh, just because it's necessary for when you're doing makeup stuff. I have a shoe box down there that has nail polish in it. I have some special effects makeup, but again, it's a lot of empty boxes. Also some like hair tools. Um, curling irons and stuff, which I don't tend to use right now. And I'll go through the contents of this little drawer too. Anyway, so I had my camera on my tripod because I thought I'd be a little bit more steadier that way, but uh, it just seemed to be in the way a little bit. So this is my vanity right here. Um, right over on this side, I have a sign that says, well, hearts can't be broken. I have this little 
twirly thing, which mostly just has a lot of accessories. Um, I have some Adventure Time pins hanging out here because they make me happy. So I like to have things that make me happy where I can see them. I have this e.l.f. brush, which I've been debating decluttering or, or not, just because I haven't been using it. So I just put it out there to see if I wanted to use it a little bit more. I just found this guy again. This is full of glitter and it makes me so happy. I can just spray glitter all over myself. I have my dry shampoo that I use more often and my Clarisonic with the Clarisonic foundation brush on it right now, which is why it's here. All right, so I have a lot of brushes, a lot of brushes. I use the um, Bath & Body Works handle jars once I've used them all. So this has been really helpful for me to organize my brushes. I do kind of need to weed through them, but I'm always re really hesitant to do so just because I have so much fun playing with them. So I've got a lot of, some of them are dirty because I did recently wash them, but I also do my makeup every day, so. There's no chance or no time for them to always be clean. So down here, I have this little storage compartment thing. It's like an office organizer. I just liked it because it had this gold and silver feather print on it. This came from, again, I believe it was HomeSense. I tend to buy a lot of stuff at HomeSense, Marshalls, and Winners. And I think in the US, you guys have stuff like TJ Maxx. I think it's the same sort of family. So this is a lot of my everyday makeup stuff or stuff that I'm currently working with. Stuff that I'm thinking about possibly panning or stuff that I'm currently panning may live here. I tend to rotate stuff like this around. Um, I'm, I've started to keep all my brow products in here. So I've got all of my brow gels. I have a tinted one and a clear one from MAC. I have my YSL, just variety there. I have my Beauty Blender. I have my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one. Um, Anastasia Brow Powder. Dip Brow, which is on its last legs here. Gotta finish that this year before it gets too dry and I can't use it anymore. I have my Becca Under Eye Corrector and a new concealer I just picked up from Juice Beauty, which is pretty dry. I'm not crazy about it, but I'll finish it up. Um, Under Eye Corrector. This is a little sample of an Anastasia contour stick. There's a lot of Anastasia here, but that's just how it goes sometimes. This is a little sample of a cream contour stick and I've really been liking that. So it's right there where I know to use it. The green concealer I've been using from Au Naturel, which is in my silver, get ready with me. My mascaras here, my blue and my teal brown mascara brow primer and the mascaras that I have been using. A couple of elf things that I'm thinking about decluttering. The Clarins waterproof uh, cream eyeshadow that I rediscovered through my Panner's Advent Calendar Project, the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow, which is really crushed up, and I'm just trying to finish it up. A brown eyeliner from Kylie Cosmetics that I've just been reaching for a lot lately. The Natasha Denona Glow Face Powder Highlighter. I love this stuff. Um, I love the mirror, but I also love the highlighter itself. You'll see um, how the proof of that. There's a lot of pan on this highlighter. This is a massive pan of highlighter, but that's how much I love it, so. There's my Burgundy Times 9 palette. There's the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario, which is actually my Pan That palette for 2018. I've told a few people, but now you definitely know. And the Anastasia blush kits. I told you there's a lot of Anastasia here. Um, this one I picked up shortly after it came out. This is the blush kit in Gradient, and I was immediately drawn to those gorgeous colors. And then I was on the Sephora website the other day, and I noticed they had some stuff on sale, including the blush kits. So I picked up the other one. Um, this is the Radiant blush kit. I've only used this once so far, but I am crazy about it. I just love this blush formula and I love that I now have a variety of tones. I love blush so much. Okay, so when we step back over this way, um, I have this little setup here. This is like a bathroom organizer that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. I had first bought it to put underneath my sink because I thought it would work really well for helping me store stuff like extra shower gels and shampoo and stuff like that, but it was too big for underneath my sink and I didn't know what to do with it. So I was playing around with stuff one day and it just turned out to be perfect for here. So I use this for miscellaneous stuff. You can see I have some random jewelry stuff hanging up here, like my mocking jay earrings, my moose earrings, owl earrings, peace signs. Um, I've, I don't really have jewelry storage, so I just kind of 
dump my stuff wherever. It's not expensive jewelry, obviously. This is all cheap costume stuff. A lot of this came from like Claire's, Ardeen's, Forever 21, so I'm not too concerned with any of it. There's just my phone plugged in charging with my kiss print phone case, because of course. Um, I have another little notebook in here and a marker in case I have any ideas or I want to mark progress on a product. I have a sharpener, a couple of eyelash curlers. Um, this one's from Tarte that I really like. Cinema Secrets brush cleaner container. I don't actually have any of the brush cleaner down here, but sometimes I will just put a little bit in here and I can clean brushes as I need to. This is more of like setting spray stuff. This is actually hairspray, which does not belong here and I should move that back over to the other side. But I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have my Mac Fix Plus. Um, this one is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy. I have the um, Evian, just the water spray. Just, again, miscellaneous stuff. This container is empty right now for the most part, except for this little um, hair elastic with flowers. I have some indie makeup in here that I want to try and use more, which is why I have it out front. Um, I picked up a few things from the brand Notoriously Morbid, and they had a Fleetwood Mac collection a while ago, and I just, I never talked about it because I got my stuff really, really late, and then it wasn't available anymore, so it kind of felt weird talking about it. Um, I guess that's the thing with indie brands, is that it takes a long time to produce the stuff, and it takes a long time to ship it, so... Anyway, so this is She Is the Darkness, and it's this wonderful purple um, loose shadow. All these are loose. I got the entire Fleetwood Mac set, and then I picked up a couple of extra things, um, like an orangey shade called Visions, which I got because it was, it reminded me of Stevie Visions, obviously, but it's actually um, Supernatural, which is fun. So I have all those stuff there to play with. On top here is normally where I put makeup that is really heavily in rotation. Sometimes I put it down here too. This is just my Bluetooth uh, speaker. Um, sometimes I put makeup up here that I'm using. Stuff like my samples, which is why I have extra samples right now up here because I'm not doing my sample project right now. But I have some samples of the YSL um, Touche Claw, which I didn't like and I want to give it another chance. I also have some samples of the Urban Decay Vice Effects lip toppers, and I've really been liking these. I finished one sample up entirely, threw it out so I didn't get a chance to talk about it because I just completely forgot about it. And I've been using these ones with this one. I haven't opened these two yet. And then this is my other newest purchase. I bought it at the same time I bought the Anastasia blush. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal eyeshadow palette. I was not going to buy this thing. So the packaging of this palette is just awful. Like it's pretty, but it's just not functional. So I picked this up because it was really on sale. Like I got this for like $32, $33. Definitely worth that price. It was not worth 72 bucks Canadian. My son dug his finger into this shade because I was gonna have him pick my makeup out because I thought it'd be fun. And he was like, oh, purple scoop. Anyway, uh, I love this formula so far. I really love the Urban Decay Metallic eyeshadows so I've been pretty impressed with this and that's why that's out here right now it's because it's brand new so I've been wanting to play with it a little bit. I have some old school sponges back here because I will use those from time to time. I have a little display here. Display. It's actually for nail polish but right now I just have some of um, fancy luxury brand little makeup brushes and things because I like I like them, they think they're, they're pretty. And I like to feel fancy sometimes. I have this little tray back there with some more little brushes. I have some empty jars and some perfume. I don't have a whole lot of perfume. I have my Nirvana Black. I have my Scentbird um, Black Orchid that's still there. Most of the stuff I don't really use. This one is actually empty, this one from Dior. This is old Hypnotic Poison, but it's done. I just like the bottle so much. Down here I have an extra mirror that I use sometimes when I film. Um, my cat's collar passed away in August because I miss her all the time. This thing needs to go up on the wall because it's actually for nail polish. This used to be on the wall behind me when I filmed, but then when I rearranged everything it just didn't work. So I want to get this up on my wall somewhere so I can display some of my nail polish. This is a portable extra charger. Um, for like cell phones or anything that takes a USB. I like it because it's a piece of pink poop and it's one of those things that makes me happy to look at even if I'm having a bad day just looking at that silly piece of pink poop makes me happy. This is an empty basket that I will likely put some stuff in that I am panning. 
Um, I always have space on my vanity for my panning projects. Like I said, my setup is for panning and functionality for that more than anything else. I just got a lava lamp. I know, I know, but it's so cool. I just, I've always wanted one. I've never had one. I have some extra Z palettes over here. Those three are all empty. I just picked up a new one, um, but these ones are all empty. I've got nothing in them yet, and I'm gonna keep it that way until I know what I'm gonna do. I forgot about this little three drawer thing down here. So uh, this first drawer is where all of my headbands live and a lot of my flower crowns, not all of them because they all wouldn't fit in here. I have my wig brushes in here too. But this is just all the variety of things. Some of them I haven't even worn yet. Like they still have the tags on it. I love my headbands. I always want more of them. So that stays right there. And then the bottom drawer is notebooks. <gasps> notebooks are everywhere. And then this drawer, so this is where people are gonna probably start to get a little ticked off maybe, because I'm not organized. Um, I don't really know how to organize this stuff to work the best for me. So in here I have a lot of contour products, blushes, and some highlighters. I also have, oh, some bronzers as well. I have Max Give Me Sun. Yes, this is pretty orange for me, but um, I got hooked into it because I thought I thought because so many other people liked it, I would like it. Like, it's very orange for me. But it's a good product, just not really for, for me, personally. I have a lot of variety in here, like my uh, Kat Von D Elfmas palette, the Anasazi Ultimate Glow Kit. Random blushes like this one from Milani that I really, really like because it's a little bit more on the cooler side. This is just my miscellaneous face products, and they're really within reach. So these are tens these tend to be the ones that I reach for most often. And then I have other ones that I don't reach for as much, and some of them are on display. Some of them are things that I probably need to declutter or just try and use up a little bit more. So anyway, moving back over to this side, we have my taller tray, uh, lots of drawers in this one. I got this, I think, at Canadian Tire. So up here, um, I have my Everyday I'm Sparkling sign. That used to be behind me when I filmed. I really liked it, but then I had a lot of people say they didn't like it, so I moved it over there just for me. I have my Scotch tape for eye looks. I have some special, like, adhesive things. I have the Inglot Duraline Elf Lock and Seal. I have Mayron Spirit Gum and Lit Cosmetics glitter glue. I don't have anything else in here right now. I'm not sure what I want to put in it yet, so I'm just leaving it empty. The first drawer in here is my lash graveyard. Yes, I should probably get some sort of specialized lash container, something like that. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, good. Okay, so I opened the drawer a little aggressively there, but some of these are still with their little homes. Some of them are not, but if they're still decent lashes, if they haven't fallen apart yet, I tend to keep them because I don't like buying new ones. They're very expensive. Speaking of new ones, these are a bunch of new lashes, a couple individual lashes that I haven't opened yet, and I don't, I try not to open too many at one time, although you can see, obviously I have a problem. Um, a lot of the drawers in here are actually miscellaneous stuff. I just have some labels, some more notes for video looks, which I actually should move because I wanna try and keep everything together. I have some body glitter in here, some little stickers for Z palettes, some more pens, a lot of miscellaneous stuff, like I said, some buttons because I had an idea for a makeup look incorporating buttons because, I don't know, it just came to me. This is a drawer of extra products, backup stuff, or stuff that was decluttered to me from my sister. So some of these things I purchased, like the Urban Decay All Nighter, a couple of these MAC shadows, I have backups of Kid and Bamboo, but a lot of the stuff came from my sister when she decluttered her makeup, and I hang on to it in case something happens to my stuff, or I happen to use it, and then I can just reach into my drawer and dig it out. So I have like, Backup Sweet Peach palette now in case I finish a shadow and I want to use it again. I have some lipstick backups, some blush. This is the thing I'll probably end up reaching for sooner rather than later. This is Kat Von D's Thunderstruck eyeshadow in pristine condition. So anyway, that's just like a little backup drawer where backups live. I have more extra stuff in here. This is lights, replacement bulbs for my studio lights. Um, I have a regular hairbrush. Backup Beauty Blender in there. 
And in this drawer, again, it's more miscellaneous stuff. A lot of stickers in here. This is like nail art stickers or various decorative stickers that I thought I could also possibly incorporate into makeup looks at some point. Also, um, backup battery, a third backup battery for my camera. Then down here in this drawer, I have some eyeshadow palettes. Again, not in any particular order. This is a Laura Mercier palette that was recently passed on to me from my sister. This is the, the editorial eye palette, Intense Clays. So I haven't really played with this much, but this looks really pretty. So I want to play with that some more. So This last one is more products, more miscellaneous products. A lot of this stuff here is more powders and bronzers and contour stuff. Um, I don't really know where to put this one. This is the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing, Illuminizing Veil. Yes, this is a little sample size, but I love using this powder when I'm doing a glowy makeup look like I did with my Christmas Angel Get Ready With Me. This is my Franken palette. So I panned the Vice LTD palette and I had this empty palette and I decided to create some of my custom shadows in there just by mixing other products together and I had a lot of fun with it but I just don't play with it very often. Um, I really should because some of those shades I mixed together are pretty cool. So then I have of course the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I think that's like a requirement of everybody to have. I have a loose contour powder from Notoriously Morbid. This is Necromancy. I haven't really played with it much. I tried it once and it was way too dark for me, so I gotta play around with it a little bit more. But yeah, this is just a variety of different darker powders and stuff that I would use for contouring. So we have my uh, little light reflector that I use for taking Instagram photos of products. Uh, I have the gold and the white side showing right now, but it can also be unzipped and you have a solid black side and a silver side. So it's really useful to have that for reflecting color since I don't have a lot of light options in this room. So I have this little three drawer guy here and this little eyeshadow setup. This I just picked up from Ikea, super, super cheap, but I just wanted something tiny with drawers that was somewhat see-through so that I could put products in here so I could reach for them. My thing is I could never survive with the classic beauty guru drawer thing. What is that Ikea system? The Alex drawers, I think. I could never survive with that because I couldn't see what's inside. Would not work for me. So I set up this eyeshadow thing here. I have this thing, which is an office supply thing, and this one actually is a palette holder. And then I just put these ones out here because these are two of my favorites, the Urban Day Naked Basics and the Electric Palette. So I just have a nice, pretty little display here. My Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix Palette, of course. I put this one here from Urban Decay. This is the Vice 4 Palette, just because I like the packaging. And the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. One of my newer palette purchases, but I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and I love having pretty things to look at. These are four MAC palettes right here. So I have two custom ones and two pre-made ones. So this one right here is my custom neutral palette. All shades that I really love reaching for. And in the very back section, I have my other custom palette, which has a variety of shades, a lot of pinks. I would love to have a one more palette because I'd love to have a whole custom cool toned colors. And then I could have a, have a custom warmer palette. That's sort of future goals. Then I have the uh, cool neutrals. This is a pre-made palette times 15. And I have the warm neutrals times 15. So I've got a lot of MAC eyeshadows. Then going to the drawers here, they're not really organized in a particular order. This first drawer, I did put a bunch of my Urban Decay stuff. I have the Naked Ultimate Basics palette, which I just got for Christmas. So I've only used this a couple of times, but it's so good. I'm glad I got it finally. So it's a really good assortment of matte neutral shades for various high looks. Down here, I have some more stuff. I have some ColourPop singles. I have the Yes Please palette. I got this for Christmas as well. This is the Natasha Denona, the five pan thing. How beautiful is that? 
I have Becca Ombre Rouge, some Anastasia Singles. I have Subculture and Modern Renaissance in there. And down here I have um, Kylie's High Holiday Palette from last year. I have my Honest, um, no, Makeup Geek Single Shadows there. I have some Depotted Colorful Shades right here um, in this palette. Some mishmash of stuff here, Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and that is that part of it. Then we move on to this mess over here. So I'll take you through it. Let's start right on top. So of course I have to have my candle burning because it's a requirement. I have fake flowers. I just like them, they're pretty. Um, I have a, another little candle jar here that has a bunch of lip gloss in it. I've been using lip gloss more and I wanted to make this more accessible. I have a bunch of Dior glosses, which I absolutely love. I have some Anastasia glosses, which I really like. I just got this one for Christmas. This is Moon Jelly, so cool. Marc Jacobs glosses, absolutely love, dying for more. I have lip liners up here, a lot of neutral lip liners. A lot of neutral lip liners. I love the ColourPop lip liners. I love the MAC lip liners the most. Um, I also like the NYX ones, but I don't have a whole lot of those. Then I have ColourPop lippy sticks. Uh, I have a ton of them. I love them. They're some of my absolute favorite lipstick formulas. And there's actually spots in the bottom here for product, but I don't have anything in there right now. I have another organizer here. So I have my Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers with Stevie Nicks live, um, just because I can't put that away. I can't believe we lost Tom Petty, so I just, I've had that out on display. I have my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliners. I just wanted to have them out somewhere where I could see them and they were really visible because they're some of my favorite products. I have all of them. That's how much I love them. It's like the only thing I have every single one of. So I have um, some liquid lipsticks back there. I have MAC lipstick, Anastasia, just a wide variety. Nothing's in any particular order. Um, I just haven't organized everything yet the way that I want it to be. Over on this side, I have ColourPop liquid lipsticks, um, Ultra Satins and Ultra Mattes. Those are all here. My NYX um, little mini guys, because I got the full set last year of all those liquid suedes. I have some little Kat Von D guys, also some bigger Kat Von Ds back here, and then an assortment of other liquid lipsticks like um, Anastasia liquid lipsticks, Marc Jacobs liquid lipsticks, Stila, I have a variety there. And that's another little container, these little acrylic things I really like. I tend to get all of mine, again, from Home Sense, Marshalls, or Winners. They tend to be the most affordable there that I've found where I am in Canada. And over on this side, I have another lipstick holder. This one is a little bit more organized, or I tried to be, but when I keep using products, they just keep moving all over the place. A bunch of MAC lipsticks, NARS lipsticks, some Kat Von D lipsticks, some little ones, some bigger ones. I have some Hydra liners here from Suva Beauty. Um, I have a pink, a white, an orange, a yellow, and a red. And these are ones that are water activated, so you mix water in with it, and I love doing accenty things with those. In these drawers, I have some more of my like just display makeup, some stuff that I really like. Um, MAC blushes and a MAC pressed highlighter. In this drawer I have some Urban Decay stuff, um, Road Trip eyeshadow, some single Urban Decay, some single Dior shadows, some single MAC stuff. And in this one I have just a whole drawer of Dior because I felt like why not? It makes me feel good. And then of course behind I have my Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks records. Alright, so diving a little bit further in to my disorganized makeup mess. Right down here we have even more lipsticks. Again, not in any particular order, I just wanted to have things visible to me. I have the Anastasia lip palette right next there with the mixing tray so I can mix things together. I have my Lime Crime liquid lipsticks in there and then an assortment of my other liquid lipsticks, stuff that I'm using and trying to get through. Uh, down here I have a lip balm. I have the Nude Sticks Creators palette, which I really love. I have lip balms, just a drawer of lip balms, and more like pot style lip balms in there. More lipsticks once again, not in any particular order because I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with them yet. Just a variety of lipstick stuff. Then I have this little three drawer thing down here, which I'm not crazy about because I can't see what's in here. This is actually a spare of the roller lash, so I should move that. Extra mascara that's unopened and ColourPop 
um, Super Shock highlighters. I put them in there because I just I wanted to keep them all together and I wasn't sure where to put them. So they're not visible, so I need to put them somewhere where I will see them. Then up here in this next section, this is like my filming prep area. I tend to sit in this general area when I'm getting ready to film or once I finish like the most of my makeup. So this is like cotton pads and nail polish remover if I need to take my nail polish off if I'm going to paint them. I've got my lighter for my candle. I've got various size scissors in case I need it. I've got a stain pen, markers for marking on products, pens for taking notes, bobby pens in case I need them, sharpeners for product, lash glue because I tend to sit here when I put my lashes on, uh, my Clarisonic brush head q-tips, eye cream, I've got these little um, Dr. Gross, the Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle pad things in case I do makeup or skincare stuff after or if I do it before. This is some stuff I just picked up from The Ordinary. I picked up a couple of things when they came to Sephora Canada so I could try them out. Just like some night cream, some hand cream, some very serums and stuff like that, oils. Some of this stuff I end up using after I take my makeup off, but I just like to have it all here because it's just what I tend to reach for or I come back and sit down once I finished filming. I'll come back and sit in this area and maybe just relax for a couple of minutes once I put my wig away and stuff. So I just like to have everything here. And my Sephora Rouge card because I never put it away from when I stopped my um, reverse rouge project. Down here I have some more highlighters. I have some ones from Becca. These ones I love so much. That's why they're out on display. So this is Pearl Flashes Gold, one of the light chaser highlighters. It's smaller. Um, I have Pearl, which it's actually crushed a little bit, so I've been a little hesitant to open it and use it just because it's a little bit broken, but I I love this highlighter. It's such a good, it's such a good highlighter. I just love the Becca packaging too. It's so futuristic. They brought back rose quartz. Did you guys watch my Secret Loves video from months ago when I almost cried about this product? I know, I'm so dramatic, but I wanted this highlighter so badly and they brought it back. And then the last one there is Prismatic Amethyst, so it's more of a, a cooler highlighter. Then I have some of the things that wouldn't fit in the drawers, the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Halo, and then the little B drops there, and then I have the two Milk Sticks there, and Master Strobe Highlighter from Maybelline. And in this drawer I have Elf, I have a little um, Kevin Aquan one, I have L'Oreal Tunics Tarte second drawer. I have a Bare Minerals little highlighter thing, Laura Mercier Elf. Oh, another little Becca one, which I should, I want to put that one out on with the rest of them too, because it's a little mini of Moonstone. And once again, some more miscellaneous products, um, Nude Sticks, Illuminati, and the L'Oreal Trimatulumi. A variety of stuff, but they're all highlighters, so at least it's somewhat consistent. And down here is a bunch of eyeshadows and pigments, stuff that don't really belong anywhere else. I love this eyeshadow from Joe Fresh. I am so mad that they discontinued it. Like, I just want to write to them and be like, please bring this back, because this is like the perfect mint green eyeshadow. It's perfect. So yeah, I just have like the um, Kat Von D Lolita. Not crazy about that one. Urban Decay Woodstock, really old. Urban Decay Woodstock, bunch of pigments and MAC pigments and stuff like that in there. So most of the stuff I kind of want to get through and just move it out because I don't tend to use it that often. Up here I have two glass containers full of eyeliners. In the back here I have more neutral highlighters, blacks, browns, just the neutral colors, and I have a mix of liquid and pencils. I just put them all together. This one is more colorful stuff in general. I have purples, I have whites, I have golds, I have blues, I have greens. Um, there's a variety in here. I'll go through numbers in my inventory, but I have everything from Stila to Urban Decay to MAC. I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I think those are the ones I have the most of. Over here I have loose glitters. So I have a bunch of glitter from Lit Cosmetics. I have a lot of cosmetic glitter and little pigmenty things from like Pat McGrath stuff. I have um, a Violet Voss glitter and some little MAC glitters as well. So that's just my pretty happy glitter section. Down here I have blushes and then my Tarte eyeliners because I didn't know where to put them. I wanted to put them on display because I also really love these things. If I could have 
every single one of them, I would. I'm kind of working towards it because these are like the second favorite overall makeup product, like the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners and these things. They're just so good for cream eyeliner. So I have a bunch of different colors, um, white and yellow and pink and copper, blues. I just like having them there. They're pretty, they make me happy. Back, I have some liquid and stick blushes. In here, these are some of the extra blushes that I don't tend to reach for that much. Because like I said earlier, the ones I reach for more are over there in that drawer thing close to my vanity. So in here I have Milani, I have NYX, I have some Clinique blushes, and I have uh, Physician's Formula, e.l.f., more Milani. I do have a MAC one in here for some reason, um, but I don't tend to reach for that one that often because it tends to make me look a little bit ill. Down here I have all of my Super Shock eyeshadows from ColourPop. So I have all of them put in here because I need to work through them as soon as possible. Some of them are already dried. But I have a ton. I have a ton of the Super Shock shadows. So that's going to be one of my big goals for 2018 to push these out and then I'll have more free space for other stuff and I'll be able to organize things hopefully a little bit better and I'll be able to have more products together. Whew, all right, there's a lot of stuff here. So uh, here I have concealers, like my white Kat Von D concealer. I have Urban Decay, uh, Naked Skin concealer, and some color correctors, and a variety of other things back here, like eye primers, extra eye primers, glitter glue, a variety of things that are in the concealer-ish area. Then I have this container here, which is a bunch of foundations or foundation mixers. I put my to Urban Decay here. One is actually empty, but I was thinking about doing some video or something on it, so I wanted to keep them together for now. Um, I have like my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, my CoverGirl Foundation, which is almost gone, Cover FX, Maybelline. I have the Estee Lauder, which I despise, but I'm gonna finish the MAC Waterweight, which is too dark for me, but I wanna finish that one so that I can get one that's the correct shade for me. My sister recently passed this on to me, the Dior BB Cream. She also passed on the MAC BB Cream as well. So I've got a bunch of stuff in there, stuff like the Tarte. I've got more MAC foundation. I've got the Fenty Beauty in the back, which is almost done. Really love that stuff. I've got a ton of foundations, but I'll get through it. Um, down here, I have primers. I've really worked through a lot of my primers, but I also put my strobe cream in here from MAC, but I have like the Becca First Light Primer, the Fenty Beauty Primer, Makeup Forever Hydrating, Laura Mercier Blemishless. Um, a bunch of these things I'll be panning next year. The Corez Pomegranate Mattifying Primer, which is Holy Grail Ride or Die. Love this. And I have a lot of sample size primers in here, and I'm just going to try and work through a lot of the th these things next year. This is a lot of cream eyeliners and cream shadow sticks stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm hoping to plant pan next year and play with more. So I just have it all tucked in here because I need to sort through it for panning later. And the last thing down here is powders. I have Kat Von D translucent. I have a Dior, big giant Dior powder, Morphe translucent powder. Um, NYC translucent powder, a lot, a lot of powders. Uh, NYX banana powder, a lot of powders down there. All right, so that is everything. That is my entire makeup collection, my whole filming, beauty, everything setup. This is it. This is what I have. And this is why it's set up the way that it is. And hopefully this answered the questions you guys might have had about how I do the things I do and why I do them <laughs> when it comes to my organization or lack thereof. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope, I really do hope you enjoyed this. I had fun sharing my little room with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.